All right now, boys, how about a little dinner music? Okay, Dave, what'll we sing? How about lamb chop hop? I like the hot potato polka. I want lima bean blues. Don't be silly. We're going to sing the What's for Dessert Jello song. Ready, Theodore? Ready. Simon? Ready. Alvin? Alvin? Ready, and here's the Jello. Alvin, over there. All right. One, two. Jello, Jello, time for fun. Lots of fun for everyone. Wiggle, wobble, shiny, bright. Let's have Jello every night. Alvin! Jello, Jello, tastes so nice. Soft and sweet and cool as ice. Alvin! When a spouse needs cheer? What's for dessert for mother-in-law, dear? For a baby who loves brightness? For a lady who wants lightness? What's for dessert? Jello, with things the milkman brings. Jello with milk, for baby's brunch. Jello with cream, for a light, bright lunch. Jello in a tall parfait with a whip. Jello with ice cream. Hey, you'll flip. Any time, any season, for any rhyme or any reason. It's the dreamy with creamy, soft to chew, good for you, brightful, delightful, jiggly, wiggly, smiling, beguiling. Answer to what's for dessert. Another fine product of General Foods. Isn't the chicken lucky? <laughs> that eggs are the shape they are, not square, not rectangular, but perfectly egg-shaped. And aren't you lucky, too, that the eggs you buy from Kroger's are perfectly egg-shaped and as fresh as the hen can make them. Cackling fresh eggs from Kroger, gathered fresh and cooled on the spot, then whisked away in a real cool truck for grading and dating by a government inspector. Every egg graded, every carton dated in a cool, cool grading room. From the hen to the Kroger dairy case, they're kept cool all the way, so they're grade A all the way. Guaranteed to ride high in the skillet. Guaranteed cackling fresh. Who but Kroger sells cackling fresh eggs? Nobody. When you reach the point you just can't face another burger, have a not a burger at your Wiener Schnitzel. A chili cheese not a burger, Polish not a burger, super not a burger. We give you lots of tasty ways to escape the burger. At the Wiener Schnitzel. Robert P. Soup Anderson, and here with me are the non identical twins, Happy and Pee Wee. Hi, Hi uh, soup fans everywhere. everywhere. The gentlemen here are going to demonstrate how we split peas for our soup rather than crush them and lose the flavor. You notice the intricate machinery, the, the pea soup, the pea sorter. And I thought so, that one was a dud. That's right, an automatic, automatic reject, reject feature, feature of the machine. Uh, like some uh, soup manufacturers, we're not much interested in how many cans we can crank out every minute, but more in how good our soup is. In fact, when my friends say to me, Robert P. Soup Anderson, how come no one else could use canned soups with real delicious homemade flavor, I tell them it's because of an extra ingredient in every can. And that ingredient is time. It's in my delicious split pea, beef burger, cream of chicken, or old-fashioned bean soup. Try some um, today. Tonight. Today. A week from Tuesday. Ah, whole fried chicken, 
bet he won't like that. Has to taste greasy. And Dorothy loves cold fried chicken. And so will you. Have some. I fry with Crisco. Doesn't add greasy taste, so fried food's delicious. Mmm, even cold. Digestible, too. <laughs> All vegetable Crisco. Special protection against greasy taste. Food doesn't taste greasy, even cold. I guess Mother knows best. <laughs> Splendid, my dear. <coughs> Boss, what's the matter? Solid vinegar. Oh, so oil and vinegar don't mix. Well, they really don't. Try new Crisco oil, the one oil that really mixes with vinegar. New Crisco oil? Yes, look. Other oils and vinegar separate. But new Crisco oil stays blended longer, makes salads taste great. New Crisco oil blends better than other oils. My mother never serves me things I'll hate, like greasy tasting cold fried chicken. Lillian, this chicken doesn't taste greasy. Really? I fry with Crisco. Doesn't add greasy taste. So? Everything tastes delicious. Even cold. Digestible, too. All vegetable Crisco. Special protection against greasy taste. Food doesn't taste greasy, even cold. I'll eat your chicken any time. Any time you're asked, Lillian. You know, to clarify, butter is particularly simple. All you do is put half a pound of butter into a saucepan. After 10 minutes, it looks like this with a foam on the top. You skim the foam off the top and place that into one Dixie cup. Then you take, when you've got all the foam off, and you pour the clear clarified butter into the other Dixie cup. And it keeps beautifully, you know? You can fry with this, you can butter vegetables with this one. And don't forget, in Dixie cups. John! Marsha! John! Mm. Marsha! John! John! No drift. Snow drift? No drift. Marsha. John. <gasps> Marsha! John. Snowdrift. Snowdrift. Marsha. John. John. Marsha. <laughs> John. Snowdrift, the Wesson oil shortening. Now it says that I'm supposed to have a tray with soup and... Oh, bless your sweetheart. Oh, you handsome man, you. This is supposed to be a slim, graceful vase of flowers. Pretty short and fat and dumpy. <laughs> but anyhow, you get the idea. Spring, April in Paris, May in the Bronx, <laughs> and a bowl of soup and you. <laughs> Fresh cut flowers and soup. Sure, that's a good springtime dish. A bowl of the freshest tasting, most delicious chicken noodle soup you ever had. And you make it out of an envelope that comes in a box like that, Lipton chicken noodle soup. There are three envelopes in that. In that, uh, we got the whole business here, look. Everything is on a board. Those are all the brands that Lipton makes. But how about some of that chicken noodle soup for spring? You cook it in 10 minutes. Makes four to six servings each, depending on whether you really love soup or not. You know, just want a little bit. All you want, all you want is just a little cup, a little bowl. As you start the meal, it's good for you inside. There's plenty of noodles in there. And there's chicken there, too. You won't find it, but it's there. There's chicken. <laughs> Guaranteed there's chicken. Guaranteed. 
If you find any, uh, bring it to us, will you? But it's there. And it's delicious, really delicious, because you make it yourself, like you do all the other Lipton soups. Lipton chicken noodle, onion soup, green pea soup, beef vegetable soup, or tomato vegetable soup. And that green pea soup, oh boy. They're all good. And the reason that they're good is that what you buy here are ingredients. It's not a canned soup that you just add water to and heat. No, no, you cook these. These are ingredients. It takes eight to ten minutes, depending on the kind of soup. You cook it yourself. It's homemade, and therefore it has that flavor. And it has the flavor of the kind of soup that ordinarily, if you were to make it the old-fashioned way, would take hours of simmering on a hot stove all day. You do it in ten minutes. Sure, I know, when you go in the grocery store, there are all those cans that are so easy to pick up, and you have to go way on down till you find the Lipton envelopes. But do it one time. Remember to do it once and try it, and I think you'll stick with it. You'll find that the difference is worth the little extra effort. They are delicious soups made by Lipton. Try them. Uh, Lipton always likes it if I take a taste. I will therefore take a taste. Oh, look, look, see all the noodles in there? Chicken, chicken. Chick, 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 chick. Oh, that is so good. Oh, let me put it down. I'd like to have some more later. I'll put this way so we can see our next talent scout while I guzzle the soup. Fifty to sixty years ago, people were introduced to peanut butter for the first time. They looked it over carefully. The daring and courageous bought it. Well, children loved it. But Ma and Pa were more critical. They discovered it had several drawbacks. Here's the hungriest cowboy on the range. All set to dig right in, southwestern style. Mm -hmm. Sure, it's fun to eat in the great outdoors. But here's how to get that hearty husky chow right at home. Austex beef stew. Look at him go. Here's real solid eating, southwestern style. Austex beef stew. Tender, lean beef chunks blended in rich brown gravy with potatoes and carrots. So delicious, so low in price. Austex Beef Stew to keep your men going strong. Keep your men going strong. Fill those wide open spaces. Watch the chow line get long. And look at those happy faces. Husky, hardiest in the land. Austex! Austex! That's my brand. Make it yours. And now let's breeze over to Tunaville and get the latest word on what's going on from the mayor of Tunaville, Hugh Conover. Well, it's an exciting day here in Tunaville, the town where they catch and pack breast chicken tuna. You hear that? This is the day of the big ball game, and it's just about to start. Why ball! <laughs> Sorry, game's all over. You see, they play all nine innings at once, but it saves time. And that's what counts with folks in Tunaville, because this is where the folks live who get the tuna quicker off the clipper. Breast of chicken tuna. And actually now, the breast chicken people are the only ones who operate their own fleet of tuna clippers. So they do the whole job themselves, from the catching to the canning. And that's the big reason breast of chicken comes to you tasting fresher and finer. And with breast of chicken, you get only the finest third of the tuna. Packed faster, packed fresher. Right on time, as usual. Those are the Tunaville Clippers entering the harbor. 
Press the chicken squicker, quicker off the clipper, quicker off the clipper, can press the chicken right away. Why don't you try a can or two of the tuna from Tunaville? Press the chicken tuna, solid pack or chunk style. The tuna packed quicker off the clipper. Oscar Mayer for me and you. Wieners, Oscar Mayer Wieners, the best you ever put in bun. Cause they're the juicy, all meat ones. Man, they taste just dandy, and they're oh so handy. They're fully cooked, just heat and eat. Eat and eat and eat and eat. Hey, if you've been wishing, say for great nutrition. From wieners made by Oscar Mayer. Mm -hmm. You're Henry Morgan. Yes, yeah, yes, I am. Would you step inside, please? <laughs> That's Henry right. Henry Morgan. Now for your quiz question. <clears throat> what does the word degerminate mean? It means uh, uh, to uh, uh, to take the seed out. Right, right. Oh, Mr. Morgan, do you like cornbread? Well, yes, of course. Well, corn... if you make cornbread with cornmeal that's been degerminated, well, mercy, you lose all the flavor. Oh. My mother always taught me to use the natural cornmeal. Well, of course, yes, it's I know. It's Pioneer, you know, with the picture with the man with the long white beard. Well, Pioneer cornmeal is the sponsor of this quiz. The Pioneer people make Pioneer corn away with all the vitamin-rich heart of the corn left in. Gives your cornbread a natural corn flavor. So, for real cornbread, get Pioneer, the real cornmeal. Oh, your mother must be very proud of you. Well, as a matter of fact, yes, she's you started... get Pioneer cornmeal. It's good. Iced tea time is such a happy time. One frosty sip and your spirits climb. For a summertime refresher with a flavor that's sublime. Enjoy yourself, it's the lot of tea time. <laughs> Hot summer days call for tall, icy glasses of Salada tea. Completely refreshing and so delicious. And on warm summer nights when the heat of the day seems to linger, ah, that's another time for plenty of iced Salada tea. Really satisfying enjoyment. Cool and tempting, Salada tea makes wonderful iced tea because to begin with, it's America's quality tea, a famous blend of choice high-grown tea from the fine tea gardens of the world. The fresh, clean flavor of iced Salada tea is one of summertime's real pleasures. Try it soon. And remember, there's no substitute for quality. The best tea is Salada iced tea, America's quality tea. Enjoy yourself. It's Salada tea time. Tropi Kai, a new flavored delicacy from Dole of Hawaii. Tropikai brings together all the luscious tropical fruits you'd enjoy at a Hawaiian luau. Tangy passion fruit, delicately spicy guava, mellow papaya, fresh Hawaiian pineapple, and bananas. You get all their fragrance and flavor in new Tropikai, mixed Hawaiian fruits by Dole. It's a delightful new combination with an unusual new taste. Try Tropikai for glamorous jiffy desserts, for sparkling salads. Try Tropikai in all the ways you usually serve fruit. It's the new flavored delicacy from Dole of Hawaii. Tropikai, mixed Hawaiian fruits by Dole. Once upon a time, a little bambina named Red Riding Hood was take a basket of goodies to her sick grandmama. Good things to eat like Del Monte Zucchini. Ah, there's a wolf in the bush. And this wolf just loves Del Monte Zucchini. Those delicate little wedges of Italian squash simmered in rich, flavorful tomato sauce. Delicious. He runs ahead to grandmama's house. Soon comes Red Riding Hood. Grandmama, she say, what a big nose you got. Better to sniff that lovely Del Monte zucchini, he say. And Grandmama, what a big mouth, she say. So I can eat lots of wonderful Del Monte zucchini, he say. With that, 
Out pops grandmama from a kitchen with a big steaming bowl of Del Monte zucchini squash. They taste. Mmm, they all say. Del Monte zucchini, that's the last word in the vegetable. Most folks have heard about Colonel Sanders' Kentucky Fried Chicken. Now, I don't want to brag too much, but you see, it's my secret recipe that turns the trick. And it was over 40 years before I hit up on just the right combination of 11 herbs and spices. That's why folks call it finger licking good. The best compliment you can pay a man for his cooking. Kentucky Fried Chicken. If you want Kentucky Fried Chicken, you have to visit me. You know, I think a lot of people don't realize how good prunes really are. I mean, the new prunes from California, like this one. Not hard and dry like prunes used to be. Plump, moisturized, tender, sweet. Still packed with energy, all those vitamins and minerals, natural food sugars. Just taste better, lots better. A natural for breakfast. Do you realize that this plump, juicy prune cooks up in just a few minutes? Seriously, you could have a good tasting bowl full in no time. Put them on your cereal, chop them up in the muffin mix. Delicious. You know something else? Makes a great snack right out of the package. How long has it been since you've tried prunes? The breakfast fruit from California. You don't know what you're missing. Why don't you find out? Tomorrow morning. Hi there, from the Rath Packing Company out in Waterloo, Iowa. Today we've got some tasty news for you about a brand new top drawer development here at Rath. Instant hot sandwich meats. Each one makes a big, thick, delicatessen yum yum. Like suppose all of a sudden you yearn, yes sir, you absolutely yearn for a hot corned beef sandwich. Well, presto besto, all you do is pop this bag into a pan of boiling water and let it heat up for three minutes. Chubba chubba dunky dookie, oopie docky dookie lurky. Get out the rye and you've got yourself a hot corned beef sandwich. Just like from Harry's Delicatessen. Uh, <laughs> so thick and juicy. Maybe you'd rather have pastrami. Well, Raph has that too. Instant hot sandwich meat. Mm -hmm. Instant love. Oh, yum -o. <laughs> The uh, Rath Packing Company of Waterloo, Iowa, would like to not introduce a great new product, Hickory Smoked Smoke, right here. You see, so many of you wonderful discerning people out there seem to like the special flavor of our Rath Black Hawk Hickory Smoked Bacon so much, we thought maybe you'd like to also buy some of our leftover Hickory Smoked Smoke, in case you missed the smell of burning autumn leaves or something. Anyway, we turned the boys in the lab loose, and they did manage to get the smoke packed inside this can. But when you open the lid, it all comes out like that. <laughs> Unless you keep your hand over it a lot. So, it's back to the old drawing board, and till then, you can get our wonderful Hickory Smoke Smoke, the flavor of it in every package of our Raft Black Hawk Hickory Smoke Bacon. Mm. Oh, taste thrill. Mm. Good old. Oh. <laughs> oh. I never seen a tuna in dark glasses. You don't see tunas with cigars every day, either. Oh, come on. What's with the shades? I'm going up to the surface for a look around. Like the sun hides my eyes, you know? Ooh, what's up there? A star-kissed tuna scout. A star-kissed tuna scout? Hey, how about if I go along? Forget it, kid. You'll never even notice yet. Ooh, why not? You never make the weight. Besides, it ain't what you are, it's who you know that counts. You gotta have connections. You got connections? My brother-in-law, Starkist, took him last month. I'm sure he put in a wait for me. Yeah, what I tell you, they sent for me. 
All right, cut the comedy. Sorry, Charlie. Only the best tuna get to be Starkist. Insist on Starkist. Tell him Charlie sent you. You're sure choosing making soup from scratch. And you serve that peanut butter? It's a leading brand, and they're all alike. Wrong. New Jif's better. What's new about Jif? Well, New Jif's the fine grind peanut butter. Fine grind? Jif's peanuts are ground even finer to get out all the flavorful goodness. Smell yours. So? Now Jif. Smells more like fresh peanuts. Tastes Jif. Tastes, tastes better, really better. Choosy mothers choose New Jif. Now it's fine grind. You're a city slicker like Ann Foster. You come from Waterloo, Iowa. You learned fast and wanted to, to read your newspaper in half, to order Danish, not sweet rolls, to almost like cardboard coffee. But this you do hold on to. Every woman needs to be herself at times. Your answer? Baking. Baking good, baking often with gold medal flour. Little kitchen, true. Strange oven, also true. But you feel about gold medal the way most women do. You count on gold medal. Trust it so much, you don't sift anymore. Gold medal flour is that fine, that uniform, that dependable. It gives you a feeling of confidence right down to your fingertips. What some call a white thumb. Couldn't your baking use this touch of gold medal confidence? Your white thumb? New Good Luck Margarine gives you both preferred unsaturates and preferred flavor. Preferred unsaturates for those concerned about the family diet, plus delicious flavor your whole family will prefer. Preferred unsaturates and preferred flavor. New Good Luck Margarine gives you both at no extra cost. Fun is a little child watching you make a party from a package. Pillsbury Deluxe Golden Yellow Cake. Fun is frosting, fluffy, white, swirling, high. Pillsbury, too. Light the candles of fun on your golden yellow cake. Pillsbury Deluxe. Touch it. Taste it. Extra shortening makes it tenderly moist. Brings out the flavor, the fun. Wasn't your Pillsbury golden yellow cake fun while it lasted? Mama want a Pillsbury, Pillsbury, Pillsbury. Mama want a Pillsbury, Pillsbury me. Make me some brownies, a two-wheeled kind. Make me some brownies, a chocolatey kind. I'll get a glass of milk and I won't be late for the fudgiest brownies I ever ate. Mmm, just look at that brownie. It's real chocolatey and fudgy. And you know what? You can help your mother make them. It's fun. Ask your mother to get a box of Pillsbury Brownie Mix, the box with the big blue circle with the dots on it. Add water and stir it up like this. Then ask your mother to bake them. And before you can say Pillsbury Brownie Mix, you've got a plate full of the fudgiest, chewiest brownies you ever ate. Mama, won't you Pillsbury, Pillsbury, Pillsbury? Mama, won't you Pillsbury, Pillsbury me? <laughs> Sweeter girls have something. Concentration. Sweeter, the concentrated, no-calorie sweetener in the little bottle. Just two drops are the same as one teaspoon of sugar, but without the calories. 
Sweet is as sweet tasting as sugar. The best tasting of all leading artificial sweeteners. And you don't need six or eight or ten drops. Just two drops of sweeter are all it takes. At that rate, a little sweeter goes a long way. In fact, there's enough sweetening power in one little bottle of sweeter to sweeten 380 cups of coffee. About a hundred more than the sweeteners in the big bottles. Sweeter girls have something all right. Sweeter, also in tablet or granule form. Up in the valley of the jolly green giant lives a guy they call the little green sprout. A little more light, please, fellas. He's not very big, about the size of a twig, but that's a jolly green giant start out. Hi, Sprout. Lots to learn when you're new, isn't there? I'll say. Tonight, I'm studying Green Giant Cream Style Corn. It says here he makes it with his own spe... spe... His own special corn. Special? Yeah, specially sweet and tender, Sprout. You see, the giant creams his corn by a special patented process, so it's always smooth and creamy. Can't beat Green Giant brand cream style corn. It says here it's... it's... It's super creamy! Something tells me the giant wants me to remember this. In the valley of the Charlie. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. Green Giant. From the valley of the Charlie. Ho, ho, ho. Green Giant. Good things from the garden. Garden in the valley. Valley of the Charlie. Green Giant. Summer green, snapped and fresh. Kitchen slice to taste their best. Tender beans are coming from the valley. From the valley. These green giant green beans start from special seed and grow into these tender, thick meat beauties. Then they're kitchen sliced at an angle to bring out all their flavor and freshness. Taste the difference yourself. Try Green Giant brand kitchen sliced beans. And if you prefer, you can get the Green Giant's French style beans too. Good things from the garden. Garden in the valley. Valley of the jolly. Ho, ho, ho. Green Giant. Cobb's Mill Inn in Weston, Connecticut is older than the American Revolution. Yet its reputation for fine food is untarnished. So getting owner Julie Jones to switch from butter to blue bonnet for even one week took some doing. Until we showed her blue bonnet is made closer to butter than any other margarine. And not one customer noticed. Same buttery flavor. Right, Mrs. Jones? Right. Everything's better. And buttery. With blue bonnet on it. Be active, feel young, join America's swing to fitness. Millions of Americans are doing just that. They eat well, but wisely, with Mazzola corn oil and Mazzola margarine. Mazzola corn oil because Mazzola cuts down saturated fat in the diet. In delicious salad dressings and tender, juicy fried foods, Mazzola cuts down saturated fat when used instead of some more saturated fats and oils. There's no more delicious way to eat well, but wisely. Mazzola margarine because the pure liquid Mazzola corn oil in Mazzola margarine has less saturated fat than the hydrogenated oil most other margarines use. Yes, less saturated fat. And Mazzola margarine has a light, golden, delicious flavor that makes everything taste its Sunday best. So eat well, but wisely. Cut down saturated fat with Mazzola corn oil and Mazzola margarine. Hey, we're going for pizza. Do you want to come? Got a better idea. I'll make you.